Hey there, and welcome back. Today, we're diving into a blood test that many of you might have encountered in your health journey, the AST blood test. If you've ever looked at your lab results and wondered, what is AST and why is it so important? This video is for you. Let's break it down and talk about what this test measures, what it means for your health, and why it's crucial to understand the results. Ready? Let's go. What is an AST blood test? First things first, AST stands for aspartate aminotransferase, which is an enzyme found mainly in your liver, heart, muscles, and kidneys. Its primary job is to help break down proteins and convert amino acids, the building blocks of proteins. Normally, AST is stored inside cells in these organs. When these cells are damaged, AST leaks out into your bloodstream, which is why an elevated level of AST in your blood can indicate potential damage or disease in those organs. Why do you need an AST test? You might be asking, why would your doctor order an AST test? Well, it's often part of a liver function test or liver panel, but it can also be used to monitor other conditions such as liver disease, conditions like hepatitis, cirrhosis, or fatty liver disease, heart problems, a heart attack, or conditions like myocarditis, inflammation of the heart, muscle damage, following an injury or intense physical exercise, medication monitoring, to track liver function if you're on medications that might impact your liver. What's the normal range for AST? Okay, now you might be wondering, what's normal? Typically, AST levels for adults fall between 10 to 40 units per liter, UL of blood. However, keep in mind that what's considered normal can vary slightly depending on the lab and testing method used. If your AST levels are higher than normal, it may indicate an issue, but doctors often need additional tests like ALT, alanine aminotransferase, and bilirubin to get a more complete picture of what's going on. What do high AST levels mean? So what happens if your AST levels are elevated? Well, here's what it could suggest. One, liver damage or disease. Hepatitis, cirrhosis, and fatty liver disease can all cause AST to rise. Two, heart issues. A heart attack or conditions like myocarditis, inflammation of the heart, can result in elevated AST levels. Example, after having a heart attack, a patient may see an increase in their AST levels due to the damage caused to the heart muscle. This is why doctors track AST levels closely in patients recovering from a heart event. Three, muscle damage. Intense physical activity or muscle injuries, like strains, can lead to higher AST levels. Example, an athlete who undergoes heavy weightlifting or marathon training may notice higher AST levels as muscle breakdown occurs during intense physical exertion. Four, other causes, conditions such as pancreatitis, kidney disease, or hemolysis, destruction of red blood cells, may also raise AST. What happens if AST levels are normal? If your AST levels are normal, that typically means your liver, heart, and muscles are in good shape. But remember, AST is just one part of the story. Your doctor may order additional tests to give a more comprehensive understanding of your health. Clearing up common misunderstandings about the AST test. All right, now that we've gone through what AST is and what it can mean for your health, let's address some of the misunderstandings that people often have about this test. These are things I hear a lot, so I thought I'd clear them up for you. One, high AST levels only mean liver problems. This is a big one. While AST is primarily linked to the liver, it's also found in your heart, muscles, and kidneys. So if your AST levels are elevated, it doesn't automatically mean something's wrong with your liver. It could be a sign of issues in any of these other organs too. That's why your doctor will often look at the bigger picture, like your symptoms and other test results to figure out what's really going on. Two, AST levels alone can always tell you if there's liver damage. Here's the deal. AST is an important marker, but it doesn't always tell the whole story when it comes to liver health. You can't rely on AST by itself to confirm or deny liver damage. It's typically paired with other tests like ALT, alanine aminotransferase, or bilirubin to get a clearer idea of what's going on with your liver. Three, normal AST levels mean you're in the clear. While normal AST levels are a good sign, don't assume everything's perfectly fine just because your AST is within the normal range. In the early stages of liver disease or heart issues, your AST levels might still be in the normal range. That's why doctors often use AST in conjunction with other tests to get a more comprehensive understanding of your health. When should you be concerned about AST levels? 
Elevated AST levels don't always mean something severe, but here are a few red flags to watch for. Symptoms like jaundice, yellowing of the skin or eyes, unexplained weight loss, or dark urine could indicate serious issues. If your AST levels are very high, it may be a sign of liver damage, a heart attack, or muscle injury. If your AST levels are consistently rising, especially if you're dealing with a chronic condition like liver disease, it's essential to follow up with your healthcare provider. When to seek help. If you're on medications like statins, which are known to affect liver function, it's important to have your AST levels checked regularly. Elevated AST levels could indicate liver stress or damage caused by these medications. Your doctor will guide how often to monitor this and whether adjustments to your medication are needed. If you experience any persistent symptoms like yellowing of your skin or eyes, unusual fatigue, or unexplained weight loss, it's crucial to schedule an appointment with your healthcare provider. Even if your AST levels aren't drastically high, these symptoms may signal an underlying issue that needs further investigation. Final takeaway, the AST blood test is a key tool in assessing the health of your liver, heart, and muscles. While normal levels generally mean those organs are functioning well, elevated levels may point to potential issues requiring further investigation with other tests. Remember, AST levels are often considered alongside tests like ALT. If both are elevated, it often indicates liver problems. But if AST is high and ALT is normal, muscle injury or other conditions could be at play. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with anyone who might benefit from this information. Have any questions about the AST test or blood tests in general? Drop them in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and take care of yourself.